what's going on everyone i'm standing out here with this 2022 hideout 29 dfs it's actually a unit featured in our sale going on right now uh, we have lots of units on it fifth wheels travel trailers toy haulers used units and we even have a parts and service special as well it is going on now until august 27th um, so you guys should come out here check out all the really awesome deals that we have going on here on the outside, you have your power tongue jack. Very easy. All you have to do is just press a button and it does the work for you. On, off, and then up and down. Two 20-pound propane tanks are just behind there. And then, of course, your battery just goes behind your propane tanks. Nice, smooth front cap with your aluminum siding. Um, this is how you can tell when you have a hideout versus a hideout LHS. The LHS models have the aluminum front cap. Whereas here you have the nice smooth one. So these will be a little bit longer and a little bit bigger in weight compared to your uh, Heidel LHSs. Diamond plating is running at the bottom to just help protect and preserve it. You also have some pass-through storage space with a cob web. I do not like that. But you have pass-through storage space. You can have extra camping gear going there. You are prepped for Furion side marker cameras if you want to... Uh, purchase those they can be great for lining up your camper in your campsite spot or even viewing your coach when you're taking it down the road two entrances into the camper a powered awning is over your main entrance you also have your fresh water connection over here access to your furnace outside speakers outlet so you can plug anything in that you want um I forget what I was going to say. Solid steps leading up into the main part of your camper, the main entrance. Oversized grab handle. You also have a solar panel on it since this is a 2022 Keystone model. Leash holder slash bottle opener and an outside kitchen with a mini fridge, some cubby storage space, and a pull out couple burners. Front and rear power stabilizing jacks. A spare tire, access to your water heater. Um, outside shower and then you are camera ready so let me show you the inside real quick all right as soon as you come in through the main entrance you are met with your bunk beds these are double over double bunks you could have two kiddos per bunk depending on size or you could just have your friends come stay with you your older kids they are rated for 300 pounds as well the iron mounted in ladders so it's not sticking out and blocking any sort of walkway, which is really nice. Privacy curtain too. The bottom bunk has a window, so whoever gets that one has a nice view. But the top one, you just feel extra tall. Both have power outlets so they can charge their electronics. And then here is some cubby storage space for their clothes. Not far is the bathroom, so if it's an emergency, they can quickly get to the restroom. Shower tub combo with a vent fan above. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And then, of course, your sink with storage below, power, and a functioning medicine cabinet. Across the way from your bunks is the control paneling for everything. So your single slide out, your awning, into your lights, uh, see how full all of your tanks are, all of that fun stuff. And now we're getting into the rest of the coach. Jackknife sofa with removable armrests. So it easily turns into another sleeping spot for whoever is staying with you. Very comfortable as well. And then also located in your slide out is your U-shaped dinette. This will even fold down into another sleeping space for an extra person. Storage here on the left-hand side, but lots of seating options for how many people that can stay with you. The table is not mounted. It's movable, so you can put this outside if you want. You can place it in front of your jackknife sofa. Um, lots of options for that. Our sale price is $32,985. I don't have my pamphlet with me, so I'll have to double check if this is the sale price um, for the sale that's going on right now, but $32,985. Turning around to our entertainment center. This is not your average entertainment center because you have hidden pantry storage just behind, spots for literally everything. You don't have to use it for pantry stuff. You can have you know, beach toys, your pet's food, um, kitchen, smaller kitchen appliances, whatever you want in there. 
and no one has to see it. So if it's not super organized, who cares? Just below, 32-inch all-electric fireplace. And that actually kicks off some heat, make it extra toasty and homey in here. Huge speaker bar so that you can connect your phone that way. Uh, listen to music inside or outside, the radio, all of that stuff. Swivel TV, you can pull this out and change the position of it if you want. And then more storage above. Stainless steel refrigerator. Microwave range hood, three burner stove top with a glass cover. And then, of course, your oven. I like the angled sink. Really creates more of a walking space to get to the bedroom. You know, there's less people crowded around the kitchen area. But you have a massive amount of storage down below. And then a built-in road vac system. So a built-in vacuum inside your camper. Countertop space on either side of your stainless steel sink. You also have a few uh, powered outlets mounted against the wall. More storage above. Barn style sliding door leading into your master bedroom. Queen size bed, extra storage underneath. End tables are on each side. The right hand side actually doubles as a laundry chute that goes down into your pass through storage. Closet lockers with really pretty mirror panels are hanging above each. Open shelving, power on each side too. And you have your second entrance leading into your master bedroom. More storage for your clothes. And then turning around is a spot for a TV if you want one in here. So there you have it, the Hideout 29 DFS. If you have questions or concerns about it, feel free to reach out.